Hey everybody! Hi everyone! What's up? Happy Halloween! Yes! I love it! Wait for you guys to hop on. Yes, we are so excited to be here today. Oh my god, Jesse, what's up? Hey Jesse, what's going on? Happy Halloween! I know some of you guys might be trick-or-treating. What's going on, Layla? How's it going? We've got Sophia here. Oh. Woo! Hey, hey guys! Jesse. Nice to see you guys. Yes, it's so nice to see you guys. As you guys are coming on, I'm gonna just, we're gonna, we're gonna get into it right now. We're just gonna do it. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to step into your partner's shoes? Hi everyone, I'm Dove. I'm Nicole. And we're Twin Flame Revolution, consciousness mentors, uh, motivational speakers, and channels. So excited to see you guys. What up, Life Family? Woo! Yes! Nice to see you guys today. Yes! Feeling it, feeling your energy. Tell us where you guys are at. Where are you from? Tell us where you are in the globe. Connect with us. Let us know what's going on for you guys today. So excited to see you guys. Veil is thin. So we're going to be talking about some stuff. We're going to be talking about having different perspective, right? Want to bring you guys in and share some holiday love with you guys. Amazing. So happy to see you guys. Yes! yes. Woo! <laughs> Love you guys. Oh, so you gotta love Nicole. Oh my God, you're so beautiful and sexy. And I just bow down to your kingship. <laughs> Sorry about that, I had to sneeze. Sophia has just got hair dander everywhere. You know what I mean? You know how it goes, right? You know how it goes. Anyway, I gotta tell you guys, so we're really excited to talk about the subject today. We're talking about swapping places, right? What it is to kind of be in your partner's shoes, what it might feel like, what might be going on with them. And the number one thing I wanna say to you guys, right? thing I want to say to you guys is that if you are looking to understand your partner by projecting who it is that you are onto that person, what's going to happen is that you are not going to get the opportunity to understand that person, right? Because they are different and distinct from you. They have had a different history. They have had different traumas. They have had different understanding. And so we really want to understand is we want to honor ourselves for being different and distinct but we want to let ourselves also understand that person from their perspective, right? So we're here talking about being in your partner's shoes today. Love you guys. So happy to see you guys. Family, oh, feeling the love today. Feeling it so hard. Whoo, there's a lot of energy coming through. Mm. Woo! Mm. Yes, so much going on. Oh, thank you. Oh, even gender roles, right? Between men and women, like trying to understand, coming from that place of understanding that we are different in ways. And it's... Oh, it's so hard right now. <laughs> it is. It can be really hard. It can be really hard. You have like, different perspectives. You know what? I hold the masculine template in this relationship and, you know, it's a different energy than where Dove comes from sometimes, right? It is, I think about things differently sometimes. I just want to fix the problem, just want to jump into it, right? It's like there's a problem. I don't want to be in all the emotion. I want to just get to it. I want to help her. I want to fix it. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Come on, tell me you know what I'm talking about. This is why communication is so important for specifically Twin Flames, but any relationship. It's important that we are being witnessed, that we are hearing each other, that we are expressing how we feel in every moment because we don't know at all times what our partner is feeling. Sometimes when you finally share with, it, with your partner what's going on, it's like it blows your mind. Absolutely. And if some of you guys are hopping on right now, we're so excited to see you. I see some of you guys are a little bit brand new to us, perhaps. So this is definitely an interesting video for you guys to be hopping in on. But um, we're really excited to see you guys. Um, loving to see you. Tell us what you guys are doing today for Halloween. How are you guys feeling? We are loving to see you guys. What are you struggling with thinking about? Oh, I love you guys so we much. Love you so much. <laughs> I think that's about as long as we can. Oh, like, I can't. I couldn't hold do it. Hold up like, how does, how does tub even? First of all, it is, like, it is no joke, ladies, what it feels like to have this much hair and to have all this makeup. The process of getting like this has been, oh my God. You're actually, still in my character, so this is really good. And I actually didn't sleep last night um, because Nicole kept me up all night. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if you guys are hopping on brand new, um, this is just a little parody video for you guys, although, of course, we're always talking about some real consciousness stuff, um, and I think I'm pretty stuck in Nicole's role here because I'm moving around, so this is 
Nicole and I'm Dove. So if you guys yes. are brand new, um, welcome. And this is our parody video to jump in with you guys. We wanted to make you guys laugh um, and take it a little less seriously today. We never get to celebrate Halloween and so we decided to dress up as each other being the perfect thing, which did take us a long time to do. Um, yes. And it was actually a little bit weirder you, for I'll me. show you my nails. <laughs> Do you see Look, those bangs? She's got hologram nails yes. and sparkle, and I've had to kind of hide my nails down here. Um, actually, I'm totally struggling. I have no idea how to play Dove. That's why I was just I like, think she's doing great. Oh my God, everybody tell Nicole how good she did. I, um, I actually think it was harder for me to dress up like this, which surprised me, but Nicole looks beautiful. Actually, like, when we first like started me. doing my makeup and I didn't have the hair on and the hat, I was like, holy crap, I was like, you look so pretty right now. And I was like, I'm gonna rock this, I think, one of these days. And then as the hair went on and the hat, I had a moment where like I saw her in me like so much that I started to like panic a little bit. And then, yeah, it was just, yeah. Oh my God, I just saw a comment come through and I don't know, I think it was Andrea and I'm sorry, I don't have my glasses on. I know some of you guys don't know I wear glasses so I couldn't see the name properly. Um, and you said that you didn't realize for a second that we had switched <laughs> and I actually said that before. So yes, we look so strangely similar. We actually, our awesome photographer did a photo that's gonna be our YouTube backdrop cover. Um, and it is a split. It's not like a digital recreation. He like split us and merged the image down the middle. Um, and it is insane in like the eye um, region. We just have like identical shape. Um, so seeing her like with, you know, hair and my hat on and I did all her makeup. Um, yeah, I love you guys so much. I'm mm -hmm. glad you guys think this is funny. Um, <laughs> I really think it looks very good and um, aw, nice to see you guys. I do wanna say something to you guys. It's such a, you know, today's one of those days where it's a really good time to connect to Source and God and to allow yourselves to, um, cause it, the veil is, it is, it's really thin, you can feel, you can feel the connection between us, we're having a good time. Um, we, Dove and I last night, we laid out in the street cause we're, there's like no cars that drive down where we are. And we laid in the road and we just looked at the stars and everything was just like moving and it was alive and you could see so much more. And I, I felt more alive and I actually could, I literally couldn't sleep first of all because of this video, cause I was really afraid of how I was going to feel looking like this. And then the other part was, um, I just couldn't sleep cause the energy was so like big last night. And so allowing yourself to connect with your loved ones, allow yourself to connect with, um, the, just, magic, yeah, of the magic of today and Oh, yes, the magic of today. Um, do you guys want to see Nicole look like this without the hat in here? Because it's also really good. So I'm going to pull her to the side and we're going to... You guys are going to look at nothing for a quick second. Because I, I have to show you. I think that it's pretty fabulous. Not that she doesn't look super, super, super gorgeous right now. But I figured like... Seriously though, how James Charles is this? Can Oof. I get a, can I get a yes from people? Mm. Seriously, does she not mm. look like James Charles? Yes, Queen. Yes. yes. Oh, yes. yeah, baby. Yes, so much James Charles. Just give me that love. Oh, give it's happening. You woke up at three give minutes. Me it. Mm, bring that love, baby. Woo! Magic. Did you say you woke up at three? I just assumed you said for us, but I don't think you're in the middle of the, I don't think you're in Australia. Oh my God, I love you guys. Um, <laughs> yes, I think this is so cute. I really like her with all of this um, contour. It's really, really fun. Um, hi mom, I hi, love you like it. Love you, Jesse. Jessie. We're loving you guys. What are you guys dressing up as today? Are you dressing up? Yeah, let's Hanging let's out hear. with the kids? Um, oh my God, I love that you're doing Dawn, are you okay? <laughs> Don't, don't crash, girl. Stop the car. Yeah, I know. I love this. Here, let me fix oh, my hair. I'll help you. See, Nicole's really in it now, and so... Oh, no, I'm up. in. I'm Perfect. just feeling... The, I'm just... It's actually... It's interesting. The movement changed a little bit with the makeup, my body. Like, everything's just... I know. It is interesting, like, how we physically embody ourselves. Um, right? James Charles. Um, so, I think... I. Funny enough though, I actually used his palette for her, so that's really funny. Um, so- Hashtag it, no, I'm just uh, Yeah, hashtag James Charles, watch it, what's up? Um, so really though, like in this outfit, and then I started like kind of embodying um, that slightly more masculine part of myself, and I found myself, even right now, I'm like having a harder awesome. time to jump back into my more feminine, like how I feel. And people sometimes talk about makeup, right? And they're like, well, we don't need it. And we don't need it. And it, it kind of brings me something interesting. 
because we always have to talk about some real stuff too. Um, I don't do it for anybody else, right? I, I do wear like a decent amount of makeup when I do videos and things like that. And I don't do it for anyone else. What it does, it really is a freeing thing for me. Um, when I started, you know, and this, I don't know why I'm bringing this up. It might be some of you guys need to hear this. Um, when I started um, dating women, um, I thought that I had to be a certain way in order to do that. And I went way like to this other polarity and it was really uncomfortable for me and it was very denying for me. Um, when I got back to my, you know, heels and my lipstick and I felt so in my feminine essence, even though I hold a ton of masculine like around business and all that stuff, yes. um, it felt really balanced for me. I felt over, you know, like it wasn't my center. It wasn't my center. So um, it's interesting how that's bringing that up for me um, and interesting to watch Nicole. Yeah, it was interesting. That. I, the sex of uh, just the makeup and the color and the energy shift just in like my movement in my body was really interesting to just let go to it and not judge it or like think about it and to understand that like we're so fluid in that way of just you know embodying what whatever we want to and we're both energy so um, to be able to embody that is is beautiful yeah yeah um... So anyway, no, I have, I, I, I hear you. I absolutely have my full femininity. For me, it's my expression, right? So it's like, um, I have tattoos, they express a part of me. So it's just the way we express, right? So nothing makes us one way or another. It's that we get to tap into an, ex, an essence through our, our expression, right? And so that's what I mean to say. Um, and I love that. And I think that we, it's really important for us not to create any judgment with anybody around what we like to play with to bring that essence out. So yeah, happy Halloween, guys. If you guys are just jumping on, we are having a little bit of Halloween fun. We switched some roles. I apologize for my acting. Things. It was really difficult, actually, because she's just like regular, like normal. And, you know, I I'm, think you did great. It was, it was, it was fun. I think you did great. Um, I love you guys. We love you. We love um, you. We love you. I hope that this brought you a little bit of humor um, and that you did. I did say some real stuff at the beginning and so did Nick about perspective um, and just kind of seeing each other from a different perspective and understanding that we're different people and we see the world from a different angle. Um, and so understanding each other, not from our own perspective, but understanding that we're viewing it differently from other people, um, allowing yourself to enjoy yes. today. Um, feeling into and playing with magic if your kids are dressing up seeing their joy and their happiness if you're not doing anything at all just kind of connecting to your ancestors being in the energy of magic um, we are going to dress up with some more stuff later we're probably not going to pop on but maybe you guys see pictures on our Sarah, social media Sarah all I had was mannerisms girl that was the only thing that was working <laughs> anyway love you guys so much talk we to you guys you. soon bye bye